Hi students, so today we will discuss about change of order of integration polar form. So before going to that, so let me know about the difference between so Cartesian form and polar form. So see the Cartesian coordinate system. x and y axis take a point here in x y plane so which is nothing but x comma y and this is origin that in the distance between origin to this point or suppose it may be p which is root over x square plus y square distance from origin to the any point is what root over x square plus y square so this is known as r now to make a right angle triangle on this distance is what y on this distance is what x so clearly now see this if it makes an angle theta then from this right angle triangle what about cos theta which is known as adjacent side by hypotenuse which is nothing but x by r so clearly x equal to r cos theta and then from this right angle triangle again sin theta is what opposite side by hypotenuse so that y equal to r sin theta so clearly the coordinates x comma y are r cos theta comma r sin theta okay now Coming to the polar coordinate system, should be like this. So, so we have two perpendicular lines. So this axis represents the initial line. the point of intersection is nothing but pole okay so clearly and if you take any point in this plane which represents r comma theta so clearly what is r the distance between pole to this point r comma theta and what about the theta so this is the inclination made with a initial line so this is about theta okay and see here so we already know that what is x in terms of r and theta r cos theta what is y in terms of r and theta it is r sin theta now so coming to the integration so if you want to substitute for suppose coming to the for single integration so for suppose if you want to substitute in place of x for suppose let, a, let it may be t in terms of t so what are the steps now we need to convert dx into dt so we need to convert in entire integrand into in terms of t ok and old bonds to new bonds in terms of t so these are the three steps we need to follow as well as coming to the so double integration also so we need to follow so we have x in terms of r cos theta y also in terms of r sin theta so that i consider x y in terms of r and theta so that we need to consider so we need to simplify dx dy in terms of r and theta so that we need to find dx into dy by using the formula so jacobian of xy by r theta into dr into d theta we need to find so by using this formula so what is jacobian value represents so dx into dy represents so modulus of so dou x by dou r 
टू वाई बाई टू और देन दो एक्स बाई टू तीटा सो दो वाई बाई दो तीटा इंटू डी आर इंटू डी तीटा ओके नाउ सो डी एक्स इंटू डी वाई इज ईक्वल टू सो सो डिटर्मेंट ऑफ सो डो एक्स बाई डो आर सो कमिंग टू दि पार्शियल डेरीवेटिव इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिफ्रेंशिएट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू आर ट्रीट थीटा एज ए कॉन्स्टेंट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिफ्रेंशिएट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू थीटा ट्रीट एक्स एज ए कॉन्स्टेंट सो ट्रीट आर एज ए कॉन्स्टेंट सो क्लियरली डो एक्स बाई डो आर सो डो एक्स बाई डो आर सो कॉस् थीटा ईज कॉन्स्टेंट हियर वाई बिकॉज वी नीड टू डिफ्रेंशिएट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू आर एंड द डेरीवेटिव फॉर आर इज वन सो दट सो क्लियरली इट ईज कॉस् थीटा अंड डो वै बै डो आर सो सैन थीटा ईज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड द डेरीवेटिव फॉर आर इज वाट वन now do x by do theta so clearly we need to differentiate with respect to theta so that r is constant so put r is constant and the derivative for cos theta is what minus sin theta okay now coming to the y the partial derivative for y in terms of theta so treat r is a constant and the derivative for cos theta is what so sin theta is what cos theta to dr into डी थीटा ना सो डी एक्स इंटू डी वैक्वल टू ना कमिंग टू दि डिटर्मेंट आर का स्क्वे थीटा सो मैनस आफ मैन प्लस आर् सैन स्क्वे थीटा टाइम आफ डी आर् इंटू डी थीटा सो ना टेक आर् काम का स्क्वे थीटा प्लस सैन स्क्वे थीटा इज वाट वन सो दट इट ईज आर् इंटू डी आर् इंटू डी थीटा सो डी एक्स डी वै सो चेज R into dr into d theta. Now, so first one, d this completed, and so change this complete function into in terms of t's. So that here also we have to change the complete function in terms of r and theta and the change of bounds. Now we will solve one problem. So then only so we will understand the concept of polar form. so no first take a problem which is a very very important one so students it is 0 to 2 so second bond integration consists of a constant a constant bond is which is 0 to 2 and 0 to root over 2x minus x square and what is the integrand x by root over x square plus y square so dy into dx now see <coughs> coming to the given problem so integration of 0 to 2 so first integral consists of a variable bounds so so that these are the bounds for y so root over 2x minus x square x by root over x square plus y square and the order is so clearly dy into dx why because here we have first integration consists of so y bound is so that we need to integrate with respect to y first and then x now coming to the polar form now change this integral into polar form and then evaluate see this so coming to the polar form First step is that x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta. Okay. Now what about dx into dy? So clearly, which is nothing but r into dr into d theta. Okay. Now see, come into the boundaries. So given bounds, x equal to zero to x equal to two. So and the variable bounds, the variable limits varies from so y equal to zero to y equal to root over two x minus x square. So clearly, so no problem with all these three. Then coming to the y equal to root over two x minus x square, clearly this y square equal to 2x minus x square. Now 
x square plus y square minus 2x equal to 0. So since it represents a equation of circle, so which passes through the origin and the center lies on x axis. So clearly, so please see this, it represents the equation of circle which is x square plus y square plus 2x plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. So here no constant, that's why it passes through origin. So no y coordinate, that's why the center lies on x axis. So clearly, compared to these two, so what about g, it is minus 1 and f, it is 0, so no constant, c equal to 0. Now coming to the center of this circle, it presents, so minus g comma minus f, which is nothing but 1 comma 0, and coming to the radius, r equal to root over, so g square plus f square minus c, so which is root over 1 plus 0 minus 0, which is nothing but 1, so that the circle having center 1 comma 0 and the radius is 1 so that coming to the graph so we have x equal to 0 to 2 so that so only positive x, x coordinates so that so y equal to 0 negative y positive y so positive x negative x so clearly what y axis represents x equal to 0 and on the line x equal to 2 so okay and coming to the circle having the center at 1 comma 0 and radius at 1 and clearly it touches x so origin passes through origin so that should be like this so center 1 comma 0 this is the line so which is x equal to 2 so here we have x equal to 0 and x equal to 2 you see this so the variable limits ranges from 0 to root over 2x minus x square so only upper side so why because it is positive region so that what is the region of integration here this part only positive region no need to take the negative region so why because so 0 to upper region so this is the region of integration from this so we need to find the limits for so <coughs> new substitution so clearly new limits for theta so for theta the initial line starts with 0 to theta equal to and the region of integration clearly from 0 to this line so 0 to this line so that this line represents 90 which is pi by 2 so vertical line which is 90 so this is the entire region we need to integrate so that initial line to so this axis so clearly 0 to pi by 2 then coming to the r so so what is r distance from origin to the point on the curve so clearly now what is the point on the curve r cos theta r sin theta now substitute this into this curve so clearly r from 1 so clearly x square plus y square we already know that x square plus y square is what r square why because from this x square plus y square equal to r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta so that take r square common cos square theta plus sin square theta is what 1 so that x square plus y square we already know that x square plus y square equal to r square now from 1 substitute x and y clearly this is 1 substitute x and y x square plus y square equal to r square minus 2 into x is what r cos theta 
equal to 0. Now take r common r minus 2 cos theta equal to 0. Now r equal to 0, r equal to 2 cos theta. So that the bonds for r e is what? r equal to 0 to 2 cos theta. Now new bonds are there. Now coming to the integration. the integration then i equal to integration of the constant bonds so 0 to pi by 2 so these are for theta and the variable bonds so r equal to 0 to 2 cos theta and coming to the integrand so what is our integrand so it is x by x is what r cos theta by so clearly root over x square plus y square x square plus y square is what r square root over r square is what r into so dx into dy is clearly r into dr into d theta so the first integral having the r boundary so that no need to, to confuse so dr into d theta so the first one is dr and then d theta why because the first integral consists of so bounds consists of in terms of r so now r r gets cancelled so it is 0 to pi by 2 now if you want to integrate with respect to what take cos theta is a constant for r it is r square by 2 the bonds are 0 to 2 cos theta so please see this so i equal to integration of 0 to pi by 2 now substitute the upper boundary so which is 4 cos square theta so cos theta into 4 cos square theta by 2 so 2 on the 2 this gets cancelled to dz now it is r i equal to 2 integration of 0 to pi by 2 so cos square theta d theta see we already know that so integration of 0 to pi by 2 cos power n x dx where n is clearly here n is what 3 which is odd then it is n minus 1 by n into n minus 3 by n minus 2 and so on till which gives the result 2 minus 3 we need to substitute so from i it is 2 times of now substitute 3 here in place of n we get 3 minus 1 by 3 into so now substitute 3 here 3 minus 3 by 3 minus 2 so 0 so that we have to eliminate this entire thing so why because we will get 2 by 3 here also here only so we stop here then so clearly this formula is we need to substitute in this formula until we get 2 by 3 so at this first step we will get 2 by 3 so that we stop here so 2 into 2 by 3 gives 4 by 3 so this is the final result so that this is the students change of order of integration in terms of polar form thank you students please do subscribe and share my videos thank you